EA Sports have gone to release an 87 plus footies best of batch one times 10. All specials, this is going to be one of the biggest packs we're about to see. Oh, three squads. Uh, the other squads are like cheap, but that's the problem right now. It's very similar to that other promo that we had. Can you guys remember it? Was it either during team of the season or was there a separate promo? We were in a situation where we kept getting like high rated cards, but we ran out of like 82s and 83s. What EA didn't tell you, there are only a select few cards that are like 91 rated. So 87 looks great and all, but it's basically capped. They've got full control, but we're still looking for Ronaldinho. I'll take a Vanessa right now from my 87 plus times 10 footies re-release batch one pack. It's a one to watch. Striker? Dutch center back. 80, 90, 90, delete. Fine. It's all good. But team of the icon. Zanetti. Zanetti again. All right. Well, in terms of high rated individuals, we haven't done... Alan, say my up. We haven't done too bad. 86 plus player pick. This stuff right here, or literally one card that we pull, is going to be put into Harry Kuehl. He's come out as a footies, and he looks very nice with his five-star skills. Who's that on the end? Oh, Tony Cruz, really? An 88. Alfonso Davies didn't even get a chance to try him out again, even though I do like the team of the season, so I don't necessarily need to play with him. And then Alan, say Maximus being dropped already all right who's going into this one hiero delict we don't care send that five star skills he's rapid he's got the control and he can finish it's harry kuehl diego forlan is coming to our rtg five star weak foot mad pace and i'm needing to build a team with him three italians three spanish players and we'll gain a lot of new cards for today so what's on the cards for chance playoffs what the hell's happened to Dumfries? He's morphed into three. Yo, what's that Pokemon that had the three heads? Was it Eggplant? But this right here is our new build. Foot birthday, Maldini in action for the very first time on the RTG. We've got Denzel Dumfries. We're going to be trying out a little bit more. And we have two brand new premium hero footies. Noya. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. I'll play Noya. But, whoa! Virgil, Hullet, and everything. Maldini. Oi, you. Maldini, you've got like 99 interceptions. And you let that go through your leg on purpose? That ain't it. Harry Kuehl. Oh, Harry Kuehl does feel very smooth. Oh, Harry Kuehl. Very, very smooth on the ball. Should have been mine, really, for a Maldini. How fast is his delict? Not fast enough. Let's go, driven cross. Oh, God damn. We needed that. Torres, perfect. The instructions have worked. Just cross it in now. Yes. Please. Come on. We got our cross. Love that. All right. Steady on, Forlan. Head it on. I mean, yeah. No, this guy had the Virgil. Virgil and the Hullet team of the year thing. Shadonalu. Fancy a bit of Forlan again. But you know he's going to finish. He loves a goal. Yeah, he does love a goal. He's got five star weak foot now as well. What a pass. No, you don't. That was desperation. The part. Oh, nah, not again. But shit task badge and everything. Oh, this guy's going to be very sweaty. He's got yard. Oh, look at it. Look at that team. Well done. Forlan. I need a cross. I need a cross, though. I need it a cross. <laughs> Swip it in. <laughs> oh, yeah, that would have been great. What, what a goal. That's a bit of a refresh. Royce, he's only 700k. Maybe that is worth it. Come up, come up. Kuehl. Kuehl. Good finish. Now I've done all the objectives. We farm wins. Maldini, but not the foot birthday. Yo, that attack is spicy, though. We want to be able to play it out from the back. We've got the players to be able to do so. First time through ball. Yes, what a pass. Forland, near post it. I think I scuffed that. Harry Kuehl. Oh, he is turning up now. That's it. We don't need objectives. We can just naturally play. Busquets is still nice to use though. Forland. Oh, that's it. That's more like it. I was ripped by Titan Forlan, or was it World Cup version when he first came out? I don't know what version I was playing against, but the pace I could not deal with Forlan. Let me guess his team. Van der Sar, Ferrari. Oh, okay. 
He's got check. Is that going to be the goal? That is going to be the goal. No green time required. I don't need that. I got 99 pace though. That's what we... You are kidding me. <laughs> there is there's no way. I even purposely timed it to get in front. Shoot down the middle. Yeah, fair play. Fair play. Ooh. You're being kind of destroyed on that one. No, I'll be right up to there. It's the other guy. Chem style for Kuehl. Uh, put an engine. Bought an engine chem style for him. That was weird. I think this is game over now. That was really weird. So after grinding in a few more games in the Foot Champs playoffs, we eventually got around to unlocking Rodri. And I must say, a few of those objectives were a little bit annoying, especially in the earlier games. I was having to get wins as well as the crosses. And if I don't go for the crosses, I'm obviously not going to get them. But Rodri, we had him done. And another player that actually joined alongside him, which was the 99p center back. We had him like unlocked after the first like one or two games. And when you look at a card similar to his stat-wise, it's always a little bit too good to be true. But in his case, he is pretty good. And I know he gave away a penalty and it's unlucky, but I've given away pens with Emilia Virgil and Dyke. So, like, cut him some slack. He's all right. So, alongside St. Just, they were forming a lovely little partnership. And looking at the actual main players, though, that I really wanted to give a go, it was Harry Kuehl and Forlan. And with this Harry Kuehl card, I've always said it, like, on his other versions, it's like he's got two left feet when he dribbles, but he's super smooth, and he makes it work for him. And out of skills, he is seriously quick. If you're someone that loves the reverse elastico, you're going to enjoy Harry Kuehl. And that's why I like using him as a left forward. But with the way he's played, he's good enough to be run as a cam. You might even get away with using him as a striker. But just he's got a very nice, pure strike just to get it tucked in the bottom corner. I like him. And for the price as well, it's better than doing an 85 plus times 10 or an 84 and just wasting fodder. So, you know, get him in. I know he's not from the Premier League, so he's not going to give you any bonus chemistry there. But he's a premium hero. So, you know, three chem instant. So I do like Harry Kuehl. And with Forlan, he is, again, another incredible finisher that, you know, you don't have to ask him twice to get a goal. The, the runs that he makes in behind, he's really fast. And for his price as well, it's a steal. It's an actual steal for what he's offering. 100 and what was it? 150k or something? Just ridiculously cheap. But this was one of the games that I wanted to highlight to you in the Foot Chance playoffs. He was being really toxic. He was holding possession in, in, in the uh, defense, like passing it around. And we got back into the game, though, and we take the W. Rank one secured in the foot chance playoffs. Let's go and open these packs. Start off slow and work our way up. Or actually just maybe a special straight away and I can make a million coins. That's pretty good. Already an ETA that will sell from the mega pack. Very nice. Gonna take a miracle to see a special out of a 50k pack. Is Ibrahimovic English? Who is that? Oh, Jamie Vardy. Wow, no, good. I've made a lot of money because these are oh 20,000 coins. That's all right. It's all right. Do you think we can stretch to another special EA? I'm sure you can work something out behind the scenes. Yes, play around with the odds. The German center mids. Well, this is brilliant. Oh, damn. These specials, no, they have like discard 10,000 coins. No, an 86 is more valuable. Boy, that was actually worth. So although we didn't make a huge amount of coins from the Foot Chance playoffs, what we did receive was really helpful. Joshua Kimmich being sold for 33,750. We got the Jamie Vardy that was sold for 30 and 16,500 for Testegen. And I was trying to stress to you boys that right now, the current situation that we're in, we're just looking to survive each day until Friday when you're going to make a lot of coins from Foot Champions. Or well, this week, I think I made about 300k because every SBC that gets dropped on the game, I really want to do not only for myself, but obviously the content as well for the account. So that's why like I'm just trying my best to do as well as we can, especially in the Foot Chance playoffs, like rank one pretty good Came, coming up against some sweaty opponents and then foot champions itself we had a really strong finish should, should have got 18 actually this week but is what it is we're up to 250,000 coins and we still have four land to sell but i want to show you the stats that he finished on 
12 matches, uh, people were quitting. So 10 games, 10 goals, 7 assists. So a 17 goal contribution in 10 games. And this is impressive because, especially in the earlier matches, I wasn't even really playing naturally. I was trying to farm some crosses. I was really focusing on those because if I didn't get them early, I would have run the risk of not being unable to unlock um, a Rodri. So Forlan, he is a pure finisher. And the five-star weak foot is very, very handy. And in the later games, I felt a bit more control over him. Maybe I was getting used to the card. I was spinning away from players. I was using his passing as well, playmaking. And he does give you that sort of striker build. So if you're expecting someone to have like, or Forlan himself to have like really good control, you know, there are other players that are going to be able to provide that. But for the price, he's very good. So 167,000. I think I lost a little bit now. He's come down to like 145, 150. But I would recommend trying him out. Harry Kuehl, four games, five goals in 10 matches. For a left forward, I don't actually know necessarily if that's great. Like usually in my setup for left forwards, they always get the goals or I notice them like a fair amount. I'm going to be real with you right now. Harry Kuehl is a good card. He's very nice out of the skills, like I explained. But maybe I think that I was expecting a bit more in front of goal. Maybe maybe a little bit. Maybe a little bit, as in like getting more goals. But then, like I say, in the earlier games, I was playing a bit weird anyway, trying to farm crosses. So I probably would have got a few more with him. So yeah, no, I like Harry Kuehl. Yeah, I'm not going to say too much. I think that you can play him as a cam as well. But I really do like him as a left forward. And Rodri... The general of the midfield, he's fast, he has good jockeying, and he has that like CDM build that you'd want, smashing people and going into the tackles. But is he better than the Milinkovic Savic? Unfortunately, he's not, but he's still a good card. And I made a mistake, by the way. I was playing him as a right center mid because I changed up the team and I didn't realize that I needed to reposition them. And I was wondering, like, why is Rodri pushing up so much? But he had very good AI positioning. And he was really wanting to get on the end of the uh, passes and everything. And he did score a clutch goal in an important game. It was like from a 90 degree angle. I don't know how he's popped that in and being the keeper with that one. So that was a bit odd. And then Ferrari, 99 pace center back. He's all right. I like the partnership with St. Just. So good upgrades. And with the Harry Kuehl as well, we have him, well, until the end of the game. You know, we have someone to either be in our main team or off the bench. So I think he's worth it. And Forlan, I will sell. But thank you very much for watching, boys. Let me know in the comments what you got from your 87 plus times 10. Are you really going to be packing Hullet from that or Ronaldinho? Probably not. And 87 plus times 10. It, it seems too good to be true. It does. It does. And it is. It is. There are only a few players are like 91. So you're not going to get anything mad from, from that SBC. But it is what it is. We did it and we didn't receive much. Well, Zanetti, but uh, I don't really care for him. It's just fodder at the end of the day. But thank you very much for watching. Thumbs up if you've enjoyed today's episode. And I will see you on the next one. Peace.